When Ray had his vision in 1994, um, it was sort of a sort of a weird thought for anybody in business to become sustainable. When this first started, it was uh, sounded a little crazier than, uh, than it is now. And uh, as, as you can see, uh, Ray is, a, is certainly a futurist. When Ray brought this out, you know, it really opened my eyes to things, the recycling and cutting off the electricity when we wouldn't use it and all. And uh, just common sense, it really did. It was just good common sense. So you got this little carpet company in 1994 that in Ray's mind can change the world and show the world there's a better way. Every time uh, that I would come up with an idea that whether it was involved with alternative energy or aquaculture, Ray would say, yeah, but is it sustainable? The sustainability is living within the carrying capacity of the earth. And for an industry, that's a very big challenge because we, we very naturally have huge environmental footprint. We truly need a new model if we're to live sustainably and operate our businesses in a sustainable way. At Interface, Mission Zero, as we call it, is, uh, is our own effort to eliminate all of our negative impacts. Zero footprint, you know, not doing any harm to the environment by 2020. And you know, that's created a catalyst. That's created a, a higher purpose and a mission for our people. And we symbolize that with the, the, uh, the idea of a mountain, a mountain taller than Everest, a mountain named Mount Sustainability. And that point at the top symbolizes the zero footprint. It's a, it's a mission of, um, of responsibility. I just think it's something that we all gravitate towards. We see the benefit in the uh, community. You know, when you challenge your employees, our people, our associates, all right, we're going to get off of oil. And by the way, 80% of our raw materials are petroleum based. You have to have some really weird thinking to do that. And you have to have the ability to think out of the box. We take carpet, it would, most of it would go fall into a landfill somewhere, and we recycle it. We tear it to pieces, and we grind it up, we melt it into little pellets, and we make carpet back. I wore my tie. Uh, for Georgia Tech. That's my school too, so I'm just as proud of Georgia Tech as I am of Interface. The Chattahoochee River runs through Ray's veins, and he does everything that he can to give back to our river. Ray's commitment to the environment, which will affect issues of the rivers and the oceans, is so important. Interface is leading this industry from a green standpoint, a sustainable standpoint. Ray Anderson has been able to lead other business people like himself bottom line folks to similar awareness and action. I feel so privileged and so honored to work for a company that um, takes such responsibility. I think he's an inspiration to future generations and leaving his legacy as a businessman that had his mid-course correction that has influenced all of us. We're honoring Ray Anderson and Interface tonight because they are world-class leaders born and bred in our Chattahoochee River watershed. Ray, on behalf of the Turner family, congratulations on receiving the Upper Chattahoochee River Keepers 2010 River Guardian Award. Your leadership and commitment to sustainable practice serve as an example for others to follow. Thanks for making a difference and doing your part to preserve our planet.